if you really want to be a good IGL, it's about being observant. Not about just the game observant, but again, about the people, about uh, everything. You know, can you see the patterns uh, that happen, that reoccur commonly? And then, once you notice the patterns, how do you manipulate the patterns? What do you do with the patterns? How do you use these patterns to help lead, to help guide, to help influence the team, game, people around you? Because again, we're playing 3D chess instead of checkers as an IGL. And again, we're not talking about skills, right? I'm not talking about, oh, if you're an IGL, you need all the in-game skills. Yeah, that's true. You do need to be very smart. You do need to be very uh, creative. You do need a good handle on the basics of the game. These things are all very true. At the same time, when I'm talking about an IGL, I'm talking about the X factors. I'm talking about the things besides the game stuff that make the difference between a good IGL and a great IGL.